Hey, this is Patty. Coming from someone who has a double MTHFR, I know that there are foods that act as kryptonite to our systems. And for those that have this gene mutation, you need to be so careful. So I want to take a few minutes to explain just what kryptonite means, what are these foods, and what does it mean, and what does it do to the body? So when people refer to certain foods as kryptonite, um, you think of Superman, right? So people with the MTHFR mutation, this means that these foods can have harmful or disruptive effects on your body in your health, much like kryptonite weakens Superman. These kryptonite foods can weaken the body and help make that body struggle to properly methylate, which is a vital biochemical process involved in detoxification, DNA repair, and neurotransmitter production. So what does all that mean? And what is this MTHFR mutation? Okay, the MTHFR gene provides instructions for making um, an enzyme critical for methylation on converting folate, which is your vitamin B9, to its active form of methylfolate. Mutations in this gene can reduce the enzyme's efficiency, leading to issues such as elevated homocysteine, um, increased inflammation, fatigue, hormone imbalances, and more. Okay, so why are certain foods considered kryptonite? Well, what did Superman have to be careful of? These kryptonite foods um, either block or slow down your methylation on processes. It can increase inflammation in the body. It can hinder detoxification in your pathways. It can add to the body's toxic load, making it harder uh, for these MTHFR mutations to maintain balance. And now, so then we have uh, common foods that you need to avoid, which are kryptonite foods. Folic acid. This synthetic form of folate is in most fortified foods, like bread, pasta, cereals. People with MTHFR mutation can't efficiently convert folic acid into usable folate. This is leading to toxic buildup in your body. Processed and fast foods. Oh, we all know that those are not good, but why? They're high in preservatives, additives, and unhealthy fats. And these can lead to increased inflammation and burden detox pathways. Oh, here's one we know too, gluten. For many with the MTHFR mutation, gluten contributes to gut inflammation and impairs nutrient absorption. So then one more is our dairy. Some individuals with MTHFR may have difficulty processing dairy due to gut inflammation and methylation stress. Oh, alcohol. It depletes your B vitamins, including methylfolate and impairs liver detoxification. Um, then there's conventional meats. What? Meats? Yes. Often loaded with hormones, antibiotics, and nitrates. They can increase inflammation and toxin load. Oh, and this last one, and I'm moving around. Sugar and artificial sweeteners. They contribute to inflammation, oxidative stress, and deplete essential nutrients. Oh, one more, soy products, edamame. 
It can disjunct and add to the body's toxic burden. Certain legumes, high in lectins and phylates, which can be problematic for gut health and nutrient absorption. So what does this kryptonite do to your body? For people with the MTHFR, these foods, they can, again, cause chronic inflammation, leading to joint pain, fatigue, and autoimmune flare-ups. It can impair your detoxification, resulting in toxin buildup, brain fog, and hormonal imbalances. It can disrupt your mental health, yes, increasing anxiety, depression, and mood swings due to neurotransmitter imbalances. Are you getting to where this MTHFR is so important? It also can increase homocysteine levels, raising the risk for cardiovascular diseases, migraines, miscarriages. It also exacerbates fatigue and energy issues, such as methylation being crucial for energy, um, energy production. These foods can make fatigue worse. So we don't want to keep weakening our immune system, which also leads to frequent illness and slow recovery. So what do we want to eat instead of these superfoods? Um, no, for our superfoods, natural folate, rich foods, leafy greens, spinach, kale, avocados, asparagus, Brussels sprouts, grass-fed organic meats, higher in essential nutrients, and free of harmful additives. Gluten-free grains, quinoa, buckwheat, and brown rice. Healthy eats, healthy fats, avocado, of olive oil, and coconut oil. Nutrient-dense vegetables, broccoli, cauliflower, and be careful of peppers, but bell peppers. Fermented foods, kimchi, sauerkraut, and kefir for our gut health. Then we have filtered water, which helps to reduce toxin exposure. So you, or if you are someone with the MTHFR or MTR mutation, and you want to avoid these kryptonite foods, well, that's a good thing. And I know it's a drastic change, but it's going to improve your health and your quality of life. And I can only encourage you and support your genes with methylated B vitamins to help your body and you to function optimally despite the mutation.